Hey everybody, it's your buddy, it's your pal, I'm Karnak, and this is Serenity Wargaming and Explanations, doing another Star Wars Armada upgrade card for today. We're looking at the Venator Titer Resolute. So, Resolute, uh, is an interesting upgrade card for title for the Venator. Some people have a little bit of confusion about kind of how it works, what's going on with it. So, as always, I'm going to break it down, explain what's going on, and and then talk about, you know, what are some uses for this upgrade card. So first thing I always get into is uh, if you look at Resolute, if you look in front of its name, there's a little dot or bullet point in front of it. Signifies that it is unique. You can only ever bring one Resolute in your fleet. How do you know it equips to the Venator? If you look at the bottom left-hand corner of the card, you'll see the Venator icon there. Opposite of that is, you know, of course it's faction locked. It is for the Republic only. And it is a point cost of six. And I think for the really big benefit that you're getting for this card, it's appropriately costed at six points. Okay, uh, what does that blue bar on the left-hand side mean? You know, what's going on? I'll make sure I'm explaining that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just read through the card, and then we'll, we'll break it down further for people who are wanting to understand more of the mechanics. Okay, so to read the card. You must choose at least two types of command tokens for this card. After you resolve a command by spending a dial, you may discard one matching command token from this card to gain that token. So quickly, how to use this card. The left hand side, where that blue bar with the icons in there and the number. So when it, it is saying you must choose at least two types of command tokens for this card, uh, in that blue box, you can only choose to put either Repair, Squadron, or Concentrate Fire tokens in there. You can put four tokens in there, but it must be two different kinds. So it has to either be, uh, you know, it can be all three if you want, but it has to at least be, you know, two of those three in there. You just can't do the entirety of those tokens all of just one command token type. Okay. Uh, and then again, after you resolve a command by spending a dial, you may discard one matching command token from this card to gain that token. So after you're done doing a command, regardless of what the command is, you can say, okay, I'm going to claim one of the tokens from my card here, put it on my ship. And that's essentially how this upgrade works. Now, there's some, there's some minor details in there that players tend to either forget or they don't remember correctly. And again, now I'm going to kind of dive more into all of that and go over that. Before I do, there is one uh, FAQ for this card, just clarification. Somebody asks, what does it mean by spending a dial with the Resolute card effect? Does it mean that when I only spend a dial or can I spend a dial and token? And the answer is this means that you can resolve the effect of Resolute as long as a dial was spent when resolved in the command. This includes the spending of a dial and token together. Because some people were taking the part of uh, after you resolve a command by spending a dial as it's saying by only spending a dial. Which if it was only spending a dial, it would say exactly that by only spending a dial. So as long as you resolve a command, as long as, again, because when you resolve commands, you can only do it in one of three ways. Either by only spending the command dial, by only spending the command token, or by spending a command dial and command token together. So again, for two of these three things, it involves spending the dial. So did you spend a dial by itself? Great, get a token. Did you spend a dial and token together? Uh, great, get a token. It, you just do not get the benefit of the upgrade if you only spend a command token and don't spend a dial at all. Okay. Uh, so for Resolute, the blue bar. I want to get touch back on that. So again, that blue bar, some folks, again, get uh, a little mixed up with about how that works. Um, the blue bar, the gaining of those tokens, it only happens in the deployment step of setup, meaning when you're putting ships down on the table at the beginning of the game in deployment, when you deploy the ship, is, and as soon as you deploy, it's not after deployment, it's as soon as you deploy the ship, you have to figure out what tokens you're putting on that ship. And you do not get the tokens, like for example, if you had a mechanic that would allow you to set aside the ship with Resolute, and then halfway through the game you plop the ship out, uh, you would not gain those command tokens at all, period. Because again, as per rules reference guide, that only happens during deployment setup of, of ship. So it's only when you deploy the ship during setup. So don't take this card or this upgrade 
set it aside, try to bring it out later, and try to claim some some uh, the ability of this effect because you will not be able to. Okay. Getting more into the two different types again, that number there, that four, means you can put four tokens on that ship. Again, it can either be, you know, like three engineering and one squadron, or two repair, one squadron, one confire, or any mixture of the two. Again, you don't have to have all three different types on there, but you have to have at least two different types. Typically, what I usually will see is something like three repair tokens and like a confire or a squadron token, or something similar to that effect. All right, for the after resolve, there's confusion about what does that mean. So I've seen some folks try to spend a dial and then also spend a token uh, from Resolute. Because like, oh, see, I spent a dial and now I'm going to grab this token and spend that token too and resolve this repair command as, as a dial and the repair token. And no, that's not what this ability or that, that's not what this card effect is allowing you to do. Again, it states after you resolve a command, you can gain a token. So when you spend a dial or dial a token or whatever to resolve a command such as doing engineering points, it's, it's after you're done spending the, the engineering points or after you're done doing your squadrons or if you're doing concentrate fire, it's after you're done uh, with, you know, resolving concentrate fire uh, or navigation, etc. It's only after you're done with a command is you can get a token from the card and put it on your ship. It doesn't allow you to spend only a dial, grab the token, and then also spend that token with the dial. Because then you're now you're resolving the command twice, technically, because you can only ever do that once. So that's not what this is allowing you to do. I just want to make sure I'm being upfront and clear about that. So that is, uh, I mean, that is by and large what's going on with Resolute. It's, it's not really complicated. It really isn't. It's pretty straightforward. It's just communicating the appropriate timings of how this upgrade card is being resolved. Some things I want to point out, and again, this just comes down to player confusion, is that some players believe that they can take tokens off the card to spend immediately, and that's, again, that's not what this is allowing you to do. You can't pull tokens off the card to spend for other things. Um, you can only do that with tokens that are on your ship. The, the, the upgrade card doesn't specifically say you can spend tokens off this card as if it was a ship. That's not what it's saying. Uh, so you can't use it, for example, to pull tokens directly from the Resolute upgrade card to do stuff like, for example, uh, ready up the like electric countermeasures at the end of a turn or excuse me at the end of a round or clone navigation officer um, again it doesn't say you can spend tokens from this card to do stuff it, they, the tokens need to be off the card and on your ship then then you can spend them um, for resolute uh, there are most people when they take this card to get more into the ship building they really are taking this upgrade to help power fleet commands. And depending on what kind of, you know, fleet you're trying to build, the, the most I've seen people try to use for fleet commands is things like intensify firepower, you know, stacking up those concentrate fire tokens on there. And that way they're, they're able to help kind of be self-sufficient with intensify firepower. Uh, there's no navigation on there, so that you can't really use it for like take evasive action or entrapment formation. Um, I, by and large, I only really see it for like intensify firepower. So other uses I've seen for Resolute though is again still being able to get tokens off that card to put on your ship to ready things like electronic countermeasures or if you've got clone navigation officer or like clone captain silver or captain Zack, you know, there are definitely good use cases for Resolute being able to help ready some of your upgrade cards that have a ready cost associated with them. Uh, but that is Resolute. There's no other crazy things going on there. Of course, let me know where you have found uses for Resolute. Some interesting games maybe you've played. And I do appreciate you watching the video, and I'll catch you next time. Quick shout out to the sponsors of the channel. Firstly, to Otherworld Events. Regardless if you're needing assistance for event managing, planning, organizing, how to even start, or just need specific uh, ideas for what it is you're doing that you already have a plan for, other world events can help you out. Second, to Admiral Tater Ship Shop. Admiral Tater Ship Shop, while specializing in Star Wars Armada miniature items, also has X Wing and Legion items. If you're looking to really get some great looking 
acrylics on the table, whether it be, you know, holders for your upgrade cards or tokens or acrylic tokens. And most importantly, you just want a perfect range ruler with no flaws or errors in it that's going to give you exact measurements every time. Highly recommend Admiral Tater. Uh, it's the range rulers I use at tournaments. I know they're cut perfectly. They're going to range perfectly. And I'm going to get that best measurement every single time. Also, just look at everything they have available. Thank <laughs> you.